welcome back everyone uh, today we are gonna talk permit fishing uh, we are in the Bahamas at the moment at Abaco Lodge uh, which myself and Lenny call home for nine months of the year uh, we don't really sell this as a permit destination but what we have here is a chance at some world-class permit uh, we often have shots at fish pushing the high 30 pound mark um, a lot of our fish will be over 20 pounds so it's definitely a spot where you can come and target a really big permit uh, certain times of the year uh, i'm going to run through my basic permit setup what i like to use so this setup here is specifically for permit here in the bahamas um, my rod of choice again is the Thomas and Thomas Exoset. Um, love the action of this rod. Uh, love the recoil guides. Um, so there's a lot of things I love about this rod. Um, again, the rod is uh, a tool, and there's many different rods that'll do the same job. So it really depends on your uh, own style of casting and what you like to achieve with your rod. Um, again, more importantly, the reel. Uh, this is a macro reel, um, this is the 9500 uh, which carries more than enough line capacity. Uh, again I've got the 30 pound uh, gel spun by Cortland on here um, and then specifically which is much different than my bonefish rig, this is a Cortland all purpose taper line. Um, it is to match my rod so this is a 9 weight rod and this is a 9 weight reel. Um, you can potentially for permit only um, go up one line purely because you always end up casting bigger crab patterns. Um, with permit I don't really like to achieve the tightest loops. Um, it's really a working cast and I love to get the fly to where it needs to be as fast as possible. Um, so I do cast a little bit wider loops for these fish um, But the goal is to present a big crab at 80 90 feet if possible um, With these permit we found they're big they're smart So the longer your first couple of casts gonna be the better um, our fish here in the Bahamas We do get more shots than a lot of other places. So it's not uncommon to have uh, to work with one specific fish on a ray for for more than half an hour. Um, in saying that, um, when I target these fish, I do like to have a pretty wide variety of crabs. Um, when I when I go out specifically targeting permit, I want to have seven flies on my little patch on the outside here, ready to go. So when that fish is on a ray, you're gonna go through your seven flies. You're gonna keep changing. As soon as you had a good follow of one fish, I like to change it up and keep keep showing him new flies and it's 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 not uncommon to get that fish to eat on the sixth or seventh fly change um, your hands do get a little bit more shaky every time you change a fly but um, it's worth having a pretty good variety um, of flies uh, the leader of choice here is the is the Cortland 16 pound 12 foot again sometimes I'll even add a couple of feet onto this leader um, but for me it's just a personal thing, but I do not like to have a lot of nuts in my leader. Um, so this is the one area where I break my rule of tying my own leaders and I do use the Cortland uh, tapered leader purely because it's not free. And I do attach what I'll do at the end of my fly line. I add a butt section. So I'll add about two feet of 50 pound uh, with a nail knot attached to my fly line uh, to avoid that loop to loop connection and then I'll add the 12 foot leader onto that and finishing off with a loop knot to my crab. Um, so that's the basics. This is very specifically for this fishery. Um, I know in a lot of places we fished in the Seychelles for permit, your setup can be a little bit different. Um, but for what we have here in the Bahamas, that's the basics that you need. Um, keeping in mind also strong hooks. Uh, you want to hook with a pretty big gape. These fish have got really big mouths. Um, again, different to a lot of smaller permit fisheries. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, permit are, are not the easiest fish to convince, so you gotta be ready. Um, always have a rod ready for them when you go out here, because uh, that day that you, you're not prepared, that's when they'll show up. So uh, go out there, stay calm, put the fly in front of the fish, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll come tight sooner rather than later. This is my preferred setup for permit fishing in the Bahamas.